an ex-Northwestern volleyball player is suing over the response to hazing. A former, this is per Dan Murphy from like ESPN, and y'all can check out the article down in the description below to see the full story, but I'm gonna just briefly explain part of it. The former, a former player filed a lawsuit on Monday in Illinois claiming that the school and its athletic department were negligent in response to a hazing incident that occurred in spring 2021. And as we all know, in spring 2021, there was a spring season, like in the NCAA tournament as well, because you couldn't, there's not enough teams that participated in the fall 2020. The player who filed her lawsuit anonymously said she was injured while running sprints as part of punishment sanctioned by coach Shane Davis and that Davis enabled a culture of racism, bullying, harassment, hazing, and retaliation within the Northwestern Volleyball Program. Davis is listed as a defendant in a lawsuit along with the school's two most recent presidents and three most recent athletic directors. Uh-oh. Her lawyers like Parker, Stenar, and Patrick Salvi filed multiple lawsuits on behalf of the football players last week in the wake of the firing of the school's head coach, Pat Fitzgerald. Because of the hazing accusations, they say they have spoken to athletes who have played a variety of sports at the school, including football, volleyball, baseball, and softball. Of course, we, like I said in that one video, cheerleading was involved as well, apparently. And as Stinner said, their experience of those athletes shows the pattern of pervasive school-wide problem within its athletic own department. The university spokesperson, John Yates, told ESPN that the incident predates current school president, Michael Schill, and athletic director, Derek Bragg, but each is taking it seriously. And like, and Yates said, Northwestern's leaders have hired a firm to evaluate the school's methods of tracking accountability within the athletic department and taking threats of its on athletic welfare. The player did attend Northwestern from 2019 to 2023. She said she contracted COVID in February 2021, and the coaches decided to punish her for breaking the team's COVID by for the team's COVID safety guidelines. She she says she followed the guidelines. Earlier in early March of that year, according to the lawsuit, Davis told his team's captain to pick a punishment for the player. The captains made the player run suicide sprints that included diving to the ground at each line of the gymnasium floor while her teammates and coaches watched. She said she was injured and required medical attention after completing the sprints. The following day, Northwestern opened an investigation within a, into hazing within a program, according to the lawsuit. And Yates told ESPN today that the school investigated and confirmed that hazing had taken place. And to wrap it all up on this, the team did postpone two matches in in like early early March 2021, in, in which the two announcements say one weekend against Michigan State was canceled because of COVID protocols, and another against Wisconsin was po postponed because of a pause in Northwestern team activities. The player said she was isolated after the incident and, and, and that Davis refused to properly coach her pra during practices. She said she met with current athletic director Greg, Derek Gregg concerning the team's culture during the 2021-2022 academic year. According to the lawsuit, she remained on, on the team during December 22 when she, decided, she, when she medically retired from the sport. Obviously, it's terrible that that really occurred. It really is. 
the look you cannot have hazing hazing is wrong hazing is dangerous I'm not just talking about physically dangerous but mentally and for the athletic director to not do anything that's just beyond me and I'm going to check how long this coach has been at Northwestern just a reference he was hired in like December 2015 so 2016 was his first year in the program so 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 seven years in the program and like In 2016, like they were like 10 and 22, 13th in the league, in the Big Ten. Northwest and 2017, 14 and 18 overall, 4 and 16 in Big Ten play. Well, by the way, 2016 was 3 and 17 in Big Ten play. In 2017, they finished 12th in the league. 2019, I mean 2018, 11th in the league, 16 and 16 overall, 6 and 14 in the Big Ten. In 2019, 14 and 18 overall. 5 and 15 in the Big Ten, 10th overall. 2020, 4 and 6. And in the Big Ten, 4. And which is all the Big Ten games they had. 7th in the Big Ten in this past year. 12 and 19 overall. 7 13 in the Big Ten. 10th overall in the Big Ten, yeah. It just. For, and the Big Ten is tough in volleyball, I know. And you gotta coach him up to be the best as possible. But this is the wrong way of doing it, Shane Davis. And I'm calling you out on it. I'm not just talking about just you alone, but you can or any I'm calling out anybody who has dealt done hazing the players. It's just disgusting. And I hope for the player's sake there's justice. And hopeful, but regardless, I just want to see who's in the right in all this. But if this really occurred, like she said, it makes it look really bad for the university. And like I said, it's a nightmare of a situation for Northwestern right now. It really, really is. Because... Seriously, four athletic sport issues, and that's not including volleyball. I mean, and not cheerleading. Yeah, I mean baseball, football. I mean baseball, football, softball, and volleyball. There might be more. There might be. Don't be shocked. Either way, on this, let's wait and see what happens. Anyways, if you like this content, like and subscribe. See you guys later. Five subscribers, we're on the road to it. Let's go.